Tonight, Athens Clark County Police have now released body cam footage of Friday's deadly officer involved shooting. Seven officers opened fire on that suspect. Police say it, uh, a family called about a relative stealing a car and that led officers to a church parking lot where they say 34 year old Thomas Swinford was walking around with what they believed was a handgun. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens has been on the story since this happened. She joins us from the newsroom with more. One main question people had about the shooting was if it was necessary for all seven officers to fire at Swinford. At today's press conference, the police chief answers this question and walks us through the body camera footage that he believes will justify the shooting. I know you may be feeling alone, but you're not. Eye level body cameras on multiple officers captured the nearly 20 minutes Athens police say they spent trying to negotiate with 34 year old Thomas Swinford. At the time, they believed he was armed with a handgun. Come on, Thomas, just put the gun down. Thomas, don't do that, Thomas. In spite of those uh, commands, uh, Mr. Swinford did not drop the firearm. And in fact, at one point, came from around the vehicle, walked very quickly towards the officers, and raised his arm from the right side of his body up towards the officers and pointed the gun uh, at the officers. Investigators say seven officers opened fire, killing Swinford. This is what investigators say was in his hand, an airsoft replica style handgun. The officers have all been placed on paid routine administrative leave during the GBI investigation. Was it necessary for all seven officers to fire and if so, why? The officers don't have the benefit of coordinating in advance to say, okay, you shoot and I'm not gonna shoot or you shoot and I'm not gonna shoot but it's likely that those officers all made the independent decision to fire their weapon based on the lethal threat. Swinsford's loved ones made open posts on Facebook about the love he had for his family and their devastation over his death. Chief Cleveland Sproul offers the family condolences on behalf of the department. He also explains the perspective of the officers. Uh, this is a difficult and emotional time for them as well, having been forced uh, to take the life of another person. Swinford did have a criminal background and was a convicted felon. We reached out to his loved ones, but did not hear back. GBI will continue its investigation.